Okay, so I don't know how this is gonna go, but this is my second take at doing something. I'm just tightening my straps. So this video is gonna be completely unscripted on how you, like me, can play VR with an ARC GPU. Now, for those who are uninitiated in the GPU space and are probably wondering, what is an Intel ARC GPU? It is a dedicated graphics card that is intent that has been produced and manufactured by Intel to compete against NVIDIA and AMD. It is considered a budget GPU, which I won't lie, I'm having frame rate problems right now, which would go against what I said in my previous recording. So, take that with a grain of salt, but it does run normally. But you're mostly here because you're wanting to know, how can you play VR with a GPU that doesn't have dedicated VR drivers? Well, first, let's start with the GPU that you probably can select from. The base model, Intel Arc A380, which is the budget option. The middle of the road, Intel Arc A750, 8GB. Intel Arc A770. I'm not entirely sure what there is for VRAM, but I know the highest one there is a 16GB. I currently play on an Intel Arc A750. Now, your experiences in VR may be mixed depending on how you play. Right now, I'm currently using something that I'm going to teach you how to use. So first, how do you even play VR with a GPU that doesn't have VR drivers? Well, first, if you have an Oculus Quest, you're going to need to purchase... Um, you're going to have to buy virtual desktop on the Quest Store not Steam. Big, big, do not buy on Steam. It will not help you. However, you're going to want to download that or purchase it on your Quest. And you're going to make sure once you have that downloaded, you will want to go onto your PC and download Virtual Desktop Streamer. Once you have that, you will want to make sure that your PC is discoverable on your internet. I believe it's under private in your IP settings. I'm not going to pull it up because this is a quick and dirty and probably going to be on. Not very well edited, if at all. So you're going to get my honest, you know, me trying to help you as a player. Like I had to learn myself. There are some anomalies that will occur, but I will address those over time. Um... Once you get virtual desktop streamer and you get it connected to your Wi-Fi, you should be good to go. I don't remember anything else that you have to really do. But um, I'm trying to think. Things that you'll have problems with. Um, if you're doing this over Wi-Fi, your headset may... It, it, I'm with Spectrum, so it may randomly disconnect from your Wi-Fi if your headset isn't running a strong Wi-Fi connection. I had to run like one of those weird Wi-Fi pucks in my bedroom to fix the issue. I don't know why it's lagging so hard in this world, but I want to look at the FPS. I don't know what's going on. But um, trying to think what else could I cover here. Um, with Oculus, you can actually do something very cool where you can actually, as you can see, I'm holding my controllers right now. But what's really nice is, as you can see, I'm taking my controllers off. You'll notice, you'll notice suddenly I have hand tracking again. I've lost tracking. Give me a second. I got to set my controllers down somewhere flat. So Quest doesn't assume I'm using them. But as you can see, I put them down. I'm waiting for my cameras to pick me up. And I'm currently holding no controllers. Which is trippy. However, I will say one thing that has been a problem with me on virtual desktop right now is for whatever reason, my virtual desktop is refusing to emulate that I have HTC Vive controllers. So you won't have, you know, the really good movement. But you'll still have the quest controls at the very least, and it'll emulate that you have Vive trackers. See? Not so much. It'll just do its best to try to 
emulate what it can. I will say right now that my current experience right now is not the normal experience I have in VR chat. Um, usually it's a lot more smoother. I think some I don't know what's going on. I need to go dig through my PC and see what exactly is going wrong. But I'll tell you that your experience should be slightly smoother than mine, depending on what you got going on. I think my PC either needs a cleaning or something. I don't know. But yeah. It's a very simple procedure for like a backdoor to get into VR chat and do VR on it, you know, an Arc GPU. But once you get it, it's fairly simple. And more more often than not, I think the funniest experience you're gonna have in VR chat, on top of you know the overall interactions that you're gonna have with people in VR, is when you tell someone what GPU you're running. And the amount of people that will go what, or the people who know what PC parts are you know are gonna look at you and go you're fucking insane that's the funniest stuff that's the funniest stuff right there so yeah keep blazing pioneers we'll see you in battle mage